it wasn't until 1992. I did two things. One, I determined to try and preserve this in a way that might continue after I am gone. Uh, and the second thing is I began to buy up other people's collections. And with that, Moses Neimer's MZTV Museum of Television was officially launched at its new home at the Zoomerplex in Toronto's Liberty Village. Bravo. The museum houses the world's largest private collection of rare vintage TVs and gives visitors a unique glimpse at its creation and evolution. From popular early sets like the Spartan 4900 to Snymer's favorite, the Philco Predicta. Ooh, this is nice. I never expected it. I don't like it. A few of these TVs I've never even knew existed, so it's especially the one that was at the World's Fair, that seemed quite quite remarkable. The MZTV Museum actually owns a significant percentage of the world's known pre-war televisions. And they're here in Canada. The collection that's been put together here cannot be replicated anywhere else in the world. It's simply the artifacts are just not out there to be found and no amount of money is going to buy them. It's fantastic. Everyone should come and see this. It's, it's, it's beautiful. I applaud City TV and Much Music and all the rest of those old channels as well as your new Vision TV, Moses. And I forgive you the Baby Blue movie. <laughs> it truly is incredible to see the evolution from where television started to what it looks like today. For more information on the museum or to book a tour, visit mztv.com. At the Zoomerplex in Toronto's Liberty Village, I'm Darren Maharaj for Zed News.